smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't Hi ladies, welcome to another home management video. We are starting off today with my kitchen fridge. Now we're gonna move on to my extra fridge that I have in our um, mudroom. And then we're gonna tackle two areas where I just needed a quick declutter. And those are gonna be um, in my master bathroom. I needed to declutter a cabinet and also declutter my dresser in my master bedroom. Now, fridge is not my favorite place to clean. I definitely have gotten better by kind of doing a surface cleaning every week before I go grocery shopping for the week. But it still is something that, you know, every once in a while I kind of need to go in and just give it a good clean. So this was the time um, I started noticing that I just needed to go through some of the things, make sure that there was no food that was spoiled or if we had some expired things in there. The fridge did not have too many things, which is why I wanted to kind of go through it. I was going to pick up my grocery order right um, after I was done cleaning. So I had, I think, like an hour before I had to do that. So I was trying to really hassle and get it cleaned. And that is typically a trick I use when I really don't want to clean something, but I should clean it, where I will give myself some sort of a deadline. So in this case, I knew I had to pick up my groceries in an hour. So that's all the time I had. So I was really going through it quickly to make sure that I will make it on time. So I did not have too many things that I needed to get rid of, um, which was a good thing, but I definitely found a couple of things that were expired. And as much as it is helpful to kind of do it every week, I still found few spots that were, you know, either missed or something spilled I didn't notice. So definitely something I am glad I did because I could definitely tell the difference. So let me know in the comments, how often do you clean your fridge? I feel like for me, it's probably every season. So what, four times a year, like give it a good deep clean. Um, not the freezer though. I think the freezer is more like every six months or so where I kind of would go through it and make sure that, um, that I know what I have and that it is clean. So definitely let me know down below. If this is your first video of mine, welcome. My name is Marta. I am a full-time working mom. I have an 11 and seven-year-old kids. And on my channel, you're gonna find a lot of videos about decluttering, cleaning, organizing, routines, basically home management from a perspective of a working mom. So if this is something that you are interested in, make sure that you subscribe down below. So there is always this great feeling after you clean something and then just put your things back. And every time I open that fridge, it's just like this feeling of accomplishment and I know it's clean and it looks good. I don't know if you get like excited about things like that, but it's as much as I don't like cleaning the fridge, I do like the after effect. So that's another motivator for me to make sure that um, things get done because I do like how it looks later on. And I just wanted to quickly go through the side doors, I guess, the doors of the fridge um, to get rid of any like condiments. I wanted to check what I have. You will notice we have a lot of different kinds of ketchup 
my husband really likes his ketchup so he has few different kinds and he uses all of them so I can't really get rid of anything um, and yeah that's the after look it's nicely organized um, and I did make it before I had to go pick up my groceries um, I did go next to the fridge that we have um, the second fridge that we have uh, in the mudroom that is typically where I basically put extra so there is a lot of like extra milk drinks um, and also some extra fruits and vegetables that we keep here. So it's usually not full by any means unless we're like preparing for a party, but it is something that I really enjoy having, especially because we do shop at Costco a lot. So when we buy, you know, things like butter or milk, we have extras. So it's nice to have that second fridge to store your things. So let me know, do you have one fridge, two I know a lot of people have a second, like a deep freezer, um, but I don't know about the fridges. If you guys have one or two, let me know. Um, and if you enjoy having the second one, if you do, because I know it's definitely helpful to manage everything by having two of them. It's just easier to find things and easier, like I said, to store extras. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. And this fridge definitely needed more attention than the other one and I think because this is one that we don't use as often like the one in the kitchen you open it multiple times a day because this one is used for like extras you you know I don't I use it every day but you know what I mean not constantly like the one in the kitchen so I think that's the reason why I did definitely it was more dirty because I did not notice some of the things but also this one tends to like kind of gather clutter so I had some things over there that I have forgotten about or things like there was some um, some alcohol in there that has been there for a long time and you know I just kind of kept it because it didn't go bad <laughs> so I'm like well for the next party and we just never used it so I got rid of that as well but I just noticed because I don't see it as often things definitely tend to hide better for me or I just don't pay attention as much and I tend to kind of leave more clutter in this one versus the other one so let me know if that's the same thing for you because I think it's not just for the fridge but for other things um, things that we don't use as often and we forget about them and either um, you know we find it and we use it you know if it's things like seasonal things or we just you know we'll buy you know a new one in a store a new item whether it's food or not um, because we forgot we already had it so this is the end result that's how the fridge looked like before I put in the groceries and as you can see I did get rid of quite a bit of stuff um, disregard the shoes that were everywhere um, and this is me just putting stuff after I picked up my groceries from I think it was Kroger yes um, so we have actually Mariano's in here and I do like grocery pickup um, I do like the convenience of it I also like grocery shopping so for me it's not I don't do it because I despise grocery shopping but it's usually on the days where I'm really busy and I want to kind of you know just like the convenience of it but take a look at some of the stuff all the fruits and vegetables were basically garbage the bananas were soft 
look at this lettuce. <laughs> I don't even know how people would put it in my bag. So, I mean, I got a refund for all of it. Um, so it's not like I lost money. But, you know, the whole idea be behind me putting the grocery order is so I don't have to go to the store. So if I am missing stuff or if the stuff is not of a good quality, that means I still have to go to the store to get it. So I was really disappointed. Um, and I think just from now on, I will just stick to either just ordering um, items that are like pantry items or like dairy things that cannot go bad and I don't need people you know in a store the shoppers to check the quality of it and then just actually go inside the store for the rest um, because this was I just felt like it was a waste of time <laughs> because I wanted to save time and I didn't so um, and let me know how your experience is in your area um, with especially with like fruit and vegetables I'm really curious you told me more then wants to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of a romance You make me feel so So there were, like I said, two other areas I wanted to tackle uh, that day, and that was my bathroom drawers. Like this cabinet is not even messy. I just wanted to kind of get rid of some things that either were empty, like this one, um, just wipe it down a little bit, and I needed to sort through the makeup brushes because I bought a set um, and I kept most of them, and I don't use all of them. I don't know why I kept it. Uh, maybe I just wanted to kind of figure out what I want, what I don't want. Uh, but it was just pointless to have so many of them when I used probably five or six. So <laughs> I got rid of some of that. So it didn't take long at all. And it's always funny to me how I tend to procrastinate on some of those things. Like, oh, I'm going to get to this drawer next time or next week. And it probably take, took me like five minutes. That's all it was. Um, so it's always funny how I'm kind of dreading some things. And then it turns out that, you know, it took no time at all. So it was just, you know, quick going through them and um, starting wiping down to make sure that I am staying organized. But I just don't know. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo. Wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. And the last area was the dresser in my bedroom. I wanted to go through specifically to two of them, through my pajamas and through all the like um, exercise clothes, because I feel like I am not wearing them. They are starting to get full and I tend to, you know how it is, you tend to wear the same ones over and over. So I wanted to just go through them and get rid of anything that I no longer am wearing. So it was actually funny because you're gonna see in this video, I did sort through my pajamas, I got rid of a few of them. And then I went to the exercise clothes. And what happened was that I opened to kind of do an after shot and I was like, no, there's still too many. So I got rid of some more after that. So you're gonna see it towards the end of this video. Um, but this is one of definitely of the areas where I need to um, go through on a regular basis because just things tend to just you know clutter in here a little bit if i don't pay attention so i am not a minimalist i don't have like a capsule drawer when you have like 10 items or anything but i do try to be intentional with what i have so that i don't have too many options because if i have too many options i still tend to stick to a couple of them um 
so it's it's just something that I needed to to do I don't know how often you guys go through your like drawers and clothes um, a week later I did go through my closet to kind of go over all the clothes that I am wearing especially now that we are changing seasons so I probably go through my closet two three times a year so let me know how often you guys do it I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies but you ain't gazing on someone in denial cause you want dollar bills right now And this is that moment what I talked about. I did not like how full it still looked. And I noticed a pajama that I definitely have not worn in a while. So this is me going back and kind of throwing away more of the stuff. Uh, some of it was able to be donated, but some of it was just not something that was of a quality to be donated to somebody else. So I hope this video gave you some motivation to tackle whatever areas um, you have to tackle in your house. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.